Hello, hello. Happy Tuesday evening. This is Jennifer Sinceri, and I am a Stamping Up Independent Demonstrator. I apologize that I am running so late. I had an appointment, and it just, it just didn't happen like it was supposed to. <laughs> so I am here, and I am going to share with you a fun technique tonight. It is called the Triple Layer Card. Hello, Shelly. How are you? Happy Tuesday, my friend. So I am pulling out something that I've done in the past and I am tweaking it to make it Christmassy. Okay. So this was a card that I've done. Oh goodness. Mm, over a year. It's been over a year. This is called the triple layer card. And the reason is you can see there are one, two, and three layers to it. This one is stamped. I ended up stamping a piece of uh, cardstock and then using our, our stitched rectangle dies to cut it out. I'm going to take the same technique, but instead of stamping, I'm going to use DSP tonight, all right? So this is going to actually take less time and effort from you, makes it a little bit easier. You can use the idea and go with it. You can use DSP or you can do stamping, okay? So let me show you how this works. Hello, friends. Hi, Jean. Hi, Sharon. Hello, all the ladies at Sharon's house. Hello, Peggy. Thank you guys for understanding. Sometimes life just gets in the way and I feel like lately that's what's been happening for me I've just been super duper busy okay the one thing that you're absolutely going to need is the stitched rectangle dies so in our annual catalog they are on page 165 you're going to get 13 dies and they are $35 all right so this is a necessity. Um, the other one that I thought you might be able to use with this, and I, I didn't try it just because I was running low on time, is the um, stitched contour dies. I thought you might be able to use those. Where are they? Where are they? Where did they go? It's with one of our new bundles. Okay, so you could use, maybe this would work. The only thing is, um, I think it's gonna depend on the DSP you're using. All right, so we've got these layering. The other one that might work, if you have these, is called the Stitch So Sweetly dies. There are several layered um, dies here they're all rectangles, and then they have a scalloped edge to them. Those might work also. Those sell, those sell for $32. There are 10 dies. All right. So that might work. So that gives you a couple options. There's three options there. Okay. And that's in your annual catalog. So if you don't have one of these, please reach out to me. I would love to give you an annual catalog. They are free to my customers. So all I ask is that you place at least one order during the life of that catalog. And this catalog is good through April. All right. So let me know if you need a catalog. Okie dokie. So what you're going to want to do, what you're going to want to do, you're going to need a paper trimmer to start off. And let's see, let me grab my, my son is waving at me. <laughs> You're going to uh, take a piece of DSP. Now we have our card, our basic card, all right? So let me just score this to show you real quick, all right? Oops. So I always score it at four and a half. All right, I'm not using this, it's just to demonstrate right now. Okay, I'm gonna make two cards tonight. And um, the second one's a slight variation of this technique for you. So you've got your card base, all right? So this is four and a quarter by 
let me just show you guys so you know. I cut my paper at five and a half. So it is four and a quarter by five and a half, okay? So then you're gonna want a quarter of an inch smaller than that. So we'll go with four. Now don't worry, I know these don't match. I haven't, I haven't fallen off my rocker yet. <laughs> and then we're gonna turn it and we're gonna cut it at five and a quarter, all right? So I'm just showing you how it, how it works and then we'll put it together. All right, so just like, you know, your regular layer on a card, that's what you're gonna start with, okay? Then I pulled two of my dies. These are the, st the stitched rectangle dies. And I'm gonna tell you what um, dimensions they are so you know which ones I used. You might change it up a little bit on yours. Hi, Pamela, good to see you. Okay, so I used the four and a half by close to three, three and one eighth, it looks like. Okay, four and a half by three and one eighth. That's kind of funny. I guess, I guess what I should do is measure the inside, not the outside. So let me see, that might be more accurate. It's almost three almost three and then four and a quarter three by four and a quarter that sounds better hello Lori okay now this one is hmm it is three three almost an eighth three and an eighth by one and three fourths. So I would just say three by one and three fourths. Okay, those are the two that I use. What you're going to do, ladies, is you're going to place this die and you're going to center it. Can everyone see that okay? Let me make sure I'm, I'm in the view. I wanna make sure I'm in the view, okay? So you guys can see me, all right? So you're going to place that so you've got a little bit of DSP all the way around. Then you're going to place this one on top. Okay, straighten it. Then what you can do is you can use some washi tape to hold that down. Let me see if I have any washi tape close by. Yep. Yep. We got... The uh, Dollar Tree Sloth Washi Tape. <laughs> All right. I would use this. Or you could do Painter's Tape. Painter's Tape is another um, option. Okay. So then you're going to carefully, um, you know, tape it down. To be perfectly honest with you, when I ran this through my Big Shot, I didn't even tape it. But I really took my time and I, I was very careful. I didn't want things to move. Okay. So if you want to tape it, you can, you don't have to totally up to you. All right. So then when this comes out of your big shot, when this comes out of your big shot, it's going to look like this. You're going to have three pieces right there. Okay. So that fit, that fit into that one, that fit into that one. Does that make sense, everybody? There's your three pieces. We used two dies and you get three pieces. All right, so there's your one. I'm just placing it on top. And then there's your two. Okay. Make sense? Good to go? All right. Then, what you're going to do is, let me grab that pretend card base. Okay, this is going to go on top. Then we're going to take this one and I am going to measure, I'm going to hold up a piece of cardstock and I am just going to trim it in my paper trimmer so that I have just a little bit 
of cardstock around it, okay? To make another layer. And then you'll do it again to this piece. You'll put this on your cardstock scrap and you'll just trim it in your paper trimmer so that you have a little layer all the way around. All right, so let me show you with pretty matching pieces. <laughs> I've done all the cutting to just help save time. Okay. All right. Um, now, this one's a little different because I made a boo-boo. So normally, here's mine, and I would have cut those pieces out, but guess what? It moved. So I wasn't going to waste my pieces. So normally, you would get two, you would get three out of this, but that's okay. All right, so there's a layer. There's a layer. Looking pretty, isn't it? There's a layer and there's a layer. Okay. Now, you can decide if you want to pop these or if you want them flat. On my sample that was more springy, they are flat. Okay, they're flat. Maybe we'll pop this one up with dimensionals. You guys know I like my dimensionals. All right, let's get started on our um, adhering. Let me put my, I need to refill my adhesive here. So let me get that going for you guys. I'm telling you, I was like by the seat of my pants today. I said, my ladies are waiting for me. I got to hurry. Okay. So do you guys remember last time I was with you? I was excited because we had some rain. <laughs> Did you hear what happened in California? For those of you that are not local. Did anybody hear what happened? Well, in 24 hours, Elk Grove, where I live, had, um, was it almost five inches of rain? Was that what it was? It was four point something or other. It was crazy. We've had uh, flash flooding because there was so much rain. I was happy for rain, but I didn't know we were going to have that much rain. So it's like it takes forever for us to get rain. And then when it does rain, it doesn't stop. So I was happy for rain, but I just hope everyone um, didn't have trouble. The next day, it did take me a little while to get to work. There was some flooding on the freeway. Okay, let me focus here. I want to make sure that this is centered. We've got an equal amount of cardstock all the way around. I did not have any flooding at my house. Um... I just experienced a little bit of flooding on the freeway going into work. It normally takes me 15 minutes to get to work. It took me an hour because of the traffic. They had closed down one lane and there were a lot of people trying to get to work at 6 30 in the morning i left i normally leave the house at 7 i left at 6 30 just because i knew there was probably going to be issues it took me literally an hour to get to work to go um not that far <laughs> 15 miles okay there are my layers so that was pretty easy right so we can pop this up now to decorate this you know, on my springy, springy card, I use our daisy punches. I used some dyes. I added some rhinestones and a little ribbon bow and a sentiment. Okay. I love my punches for this type of stuff. I didn't think I had anything that was Christmassy that would really work for this. So guess what? I used some of the stamped images from my last class. So I had some pine cones and I had some leaves. So I thought, hey, why don't we use these guys up, right? 
yeah, I'm fine. Um, thank goodness. No, no worries here, but, um, I know that not everybody. Shelly, how were things, um, in your neck of the woods? Shelly lives closer to me. She's about, mm, 30, 30, 40 minutes. I don't know, 30 minutes from me. Okay, so I'm popping this up with some dimensionals. We'll see how that works. Okay, just make sure it's centered. And then we'll pop this guy up. So I read on somebody's post, they asked, how are you doing on your Christmas shopping? And I thought to myself, oh my gosh, I haven't even started yet. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> I've got my Christmas cards made, but I need to get started on some Christmas shopping or um, making my gifts. I do have a couple ideas. I need to get my sewing machine out and um, sew up a couple items. So I've got to get working on that. How are you guys doing? Are you getting your Christmas shopping done or your Christmas crafting done? Now, I think I had um, that kind of, we could use that one. This was something I stamped and didn't use. And we've got our leaves. Let's put some of these on here. Let's see how that looks. And then we'll use maybe one of those pine cones. Do, do, do. Just don't want to cover it up. Let's go more towards the corner here like this. And I can trim those stems possibly. We'll make it work. And that little pine cone, that'll work. That'll work. You just... Uh, um, a huge, okay. Yeah. Um, I think we're going to scale down on our, um, Christmas gifting. I have my two nieces that are school aged and my, one of my nieces, the eldest, her birthday's in November and we always celebrate her birthday Thanksgiving weekend. So I've got her birthday and then both girls Christmas and I always shop the day after Christmas. I always try and do some shopping. Um, so I've got a couple things in the closet stashed away. I can't exactly remember everything I bought them because it was a year ago. <laughs> so I've got to get in my gift closet and see what did auntie Jennifer buy? Cause she has amnesia. Um, but I haven't bought for my own kids yet. And then usually for the adults, I do some type of consumable item because honestly, my brother and sister-in-law, they have everything they need unless they've got a project that they are working on for the house. So usually I do some type of consumable food gift, gift basket type thing. We'll do that. Um, oh, that's too low. Let's put that maybe like there. I don't like that. I don't like it. Now I did give my sister-in-law a tin full of handmade cards and she loved that. So I might do that too. Her birthday's in December also. It's like everyone's birthday. My brother's birthday, my husband's birthday, my sister-in-law's birthday are all in December. Then throw in Christmas. Yeah. Maybe I need to trim this little stem. Maybe I need to trim off a leaf. Let's do that. Then it's a little bit smaller. I think that works better. Works better for my needs. Um, and then my husband said, don't, don't go crazy. You don't have to buy me a bunch of stuff. How, how not fun is that? Right? 
I have to figure out what I'm going to get him. Because his birthday is on Christmas Day. Bless his heart. We usually celebrate Christmas in the morning and then his birthday in the evening. All right, I just trimmed these a little bit to make them smaller and easier to work with. I still feel like it's a little big. Okay, let's put that right there. And that needs a um, dimensional right here. So I'm lifting it. I'm going to put that dimensional on. So I got to get my act together. I guess I better start looking in my gift closet and seeing what, what did I buy? Because I don't remember. Okay. Uh, so I'm hoping that you like this little technique. This is really not difficult at all. It obviously takes longer when you are stamping your paper. But that's not even difficult. You just create your own DSP. Do I want one more pine cone? I don't know. I do not know. Let's put a bow and we'll see. I might glue that other one down. I might not. I kind of think I don't want to. Okay. Let's put a pretty bow on there. I did make a lot of homemade jam over the summer, so we'll put some homemade jam in some baskets. Oh, so your lady's already left, Sharon? Wow, I must be really late. <laughs> what time do they usually come over? And you guys, you guys usually always stamp on a Tuesday together? That would be really nice. Weeknights are hard for me to go places um, just because I've got the kiddos. Now that they're getting a little, they're older now, it's not so hard. But when they were younger, they needed more help with homework. Yeah, it's actually really easy. It's This is not hard at all. And I think it really makes uh, quite an inf um Quite a statement. That's a better word I'm thinking of. I'm going to have to trim these tails. Don't like it. Don't like it tonight. Nothing looks good to me tonight. <laughs> okay. I'm going to trim those tails and okay and let's put some rhinestones in there Probably should put a dimensional on these two ends also because I can see it's kind of caving in. So I might do that. I might add, instead of just doing four corners, I think putting a dimensional on these in the middle would help. Just hold it so that it's not caving in. Add some sparkle. For $5, you get 
140 rhinestones. I use rhinestones all the time. Such a good deal. Let's put that one there. All right, now let me fix it because we got to add another dimensional here. And that way it's not caving. See how my U-Pick tool really helps with that? Just pick off that backing. Okay. And then we'll do the other one. So on my next card I'm going to make, I'll remember not to leave those two sides. Okay. All right, let me hold this up so you can see the dimension on that. Isn't that pretty? You can see how it pops. And it was really, really easy. Luckily, I kept um, these little parts from last week. Do you do the projects as instructed or do you also work on alternatives? Oh, for my um, paper pumpkin? Or are you talking to Sharon? Probably talking to Sharon. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much. Now I'm going to show you one more card, and this is a slight variation. Okay? Slight variation. So it gives you another um, option. So this triple layered card has the DSP three layers, and then it has three layers of cardstock. This one, we're not going to use any cardstock on. Okay, we're just going to do the DSP. We'll see what that looks like. So Shelly wants to know if Sharon does the alternatives with her ladies, or do they just do the, the paper pumpkin as is? When I do mine, I tend to do alternatives. Okay, we have an old olive card base. Now this paper is from the Heartwarming Hugs DSP. This one that I use is the Painted Christmas DSP. I used this for our gift tags last week. Okay. All right. So you've got the three red, right? When you cut it out, what I thought might be fun. Ooh, that kind of hurts my eyeballs. What I thought might be fun is to switch one and do it that way. What do you guys think? I'm kind of debating, do I want to cut cardstock for this or not? <clears throat> Wondering if I want to do cardstock or not. I guess we could cut some and see. Okay, so there's the first layer. Then there's this one, and I could pop it, and then pop this one. And I wasn't going to use cardstock, but now I'm thinking maybe I want to. What do you guys think? Should I use cardstock or not? I'm going to pull. Um, Where's my, I had a piece of, I wonder what Mossy Meadow would look like with that. So I was hoping this weekend that I would work on my paper pumpkin. I was going to do, I'd like, ouch, I'd like to do a live class and show you my alternatives. I haven't done a paper pumpkin class in a while. I kind of got... Um, backlogged on my paper pumpkins. 
And then when I finally got around to doing them, it was like so late that you probably had already made yours. Try it without so we can compare it. Okay. She wants me to do it without. We'll see. We will see what it looks like. I'm, that's how I was going to do it. And now I'm a little nervous. I'm not going to like it, but we'll see. We will see. So I have the Peaceful Christmas Paper Pumpkin. Is that what it was called? And I'm very excited to start making cards with it. I just haven't done it yet. So I'm thinking this weekend. Um, I don't have... I have you guys that I will be with Friday night. I think we need we need to put some there too maybe I'll do it Friday night with you guys we'll see so I didn't um, put dimensionals on these sides because I didn't think I was gonna have to but because there's no cardstock they kind of cave in so you're gonna have to use more dimensionals to get it to pop properly you can't have caving insides. Just does not look good. Okay. Come on. All right. Not too bad. You're two years behind on your paper pumpkin? Seriously? Oh my golly gracious. You have to come over to my house so I can help you get these done. <laughs> oh, I love paper pumpkin because most of the time I really don't have to think about it. I can just do it. But like I said, I do like to do alternatives. So, but I guess what I like is that everything's there and then I've got a starting place. I'm not creating it all by myself. I at least have something to start with. Now this one is still going to be level with this one. I'm wondering if we should double up our um, dimensionals. Because if I put that down, it's the same layer as the second one. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Have you guys ever doubled up your dimensionals? Although I don't want this to be too... Um... I think it looks better. Just putting those on top. Let's take those backings off. It looks really tall, but I don't think it will once it's on there. Okay. Ah! And there we go. That looks better. I like that better. Okay, then I had some leftovers from our gift tag class on Friday, so we're just going to use those, okay? Waste not, want not. Okay. 
So we got some leaves. Mm. And some berries. Doo -doo. Those berries are stinking cute. And a little holly leaf. We'll use that. Let's see, do I have another holly leaf? Um, looking in my pile here, I think I do. All right, we'll put that there. That should be good. That should be good. All right. I always kind of like to place it down and then I can move things if I don't like it. Thanks guys. If you're watching for the very first time, I'm so glad you're here. You'll want to make sure that you hit that follow button so that you will get notifications every time I'm live. If you're watching the, I'm going to put this down first. If you're watching the replay on YouTube, you're going to want to make sure that you also hit that follow button so that you'll see when I post videos. I am usually live on Tuesdays and Fridays. And if I can't make it, I try to let you guys know. And most of the time I reschedule. Because I enjoy my time with you just as much as you enjoy watching me create. And I really hope that you get inspired. Sharon um, messaged me. She made a little set of gift tags from Friday's class. I was so tickled to see them. They came out really, really good, Sharon. I liked them. And I love it when you guys case something that I do. I love to see you post a picture so that we can see your version. I always think it's great to see different colors, different paper, different stamps. I have to do odd numbers. I'm going crazy with my um, rhinestones, but that's okay. All right. I don't know that it needs a bow. I do like the berries. I think that really is pretty with the greenery. All right. I'm going to make a quick little bow and then we'll see if it, if it works. And if not, we'll leave it the way it is. This uh, ribbon that I'm using is the white glittered organdy ribbon. I really like this ribbon. It's got little flecks of glitter in it. So this technique is super easy. You can use just the DSP like I did tonight, or you can create your own designer series paper using stamps and then cut using your dies just like I've done tonight. And either way is very eye-catching. Oh, I like the bow. You really enjoyed the fun fold I did a couple weeks ago. Oh, um, the autumny one with the Beauty of Earth paper. I think that was the last fun fold I did. Is that the one you're talking about? All my videos that I do are posted on my um, business page on Facebook and they are on YouTube. I think most of them are on YouTube. There might be a couple that aren't there, but most of them are on YouTube. So if you ever miss something, 
then you can go back and rewatch it. Okay, so there's two different versions of the triple layered card. All right, so this one, we used cardstock in between the layers of designer series paper and we popped up all the layers. Okay, so there's that one. And then this one, we didn't use cardstock, but they are popped up. And I think both came out really pretty. I didn't know if I was going to like this one, but it actually came out really cute. And then this is the one that I used as my inspiration. This was our stamped. So I stamped, I used the um, Daisy stamp set. I can't remember what it's called. We've had it for a while. So that is stamped. And then I did the same technique of using our dies and cut out those layers. And this one's flat. We didn't, I didn't pop any up on that one. Okay. Tell me in the comments which one you like the best. Which one's your favorite? Which one is your favorite? Thanks, Lori. Thanks, Jean. I'm so glad you guys like this technique. I hope you try it for sure. So you're going to want to get a set of those dies. You're going to either need our stitch rectangles or the stitch so sweetly or the scalloped contour dies. There's three different sets that you could probably do this with. I was very, very excited when the stitched rectangles carried over because we lost a lot of our different dies when the new annual catalog came out. So thankfully they kept the rectangle dies. So for those of you that haven't been able to snag them yet, you're going to want to get them. And that might be a great um, way to use your host credits. If you end up placing an order of $150 or more, or you decide to do a party, you can earn free host rewards and get free stuff. And then you could get your rec stitch rectangle dies for free with your host rewards. Okay. So we have one more week left of October. This is my host code for October. If you're going to place an order with me, please use this host code um, if your order is under $150. If you're going to place $150 or more, like I said, you're going to want to claim your own host rewards. That way you get free stuff. Okay. Um, and I can't think of anything else that's coming up. Today's Tuesday. It kind of feels like a Friday to me. <laughs> it's only been two days this week. And I'm like, is it the weekend yet? <laughs> oh, I will see you Friday night. Do any of you guys have big Halloween plans? Um, the kids are going to a costume party at church. And then Saturday, we might carve our pumpkins at home. And then Sunday, we're going to do a block party in the church parking lot and do trunk or treat in the neighborhood. So that's what I'm doing. So I will see you Friday night. I'll do something. I might work on my paper pumpkin kit with you guys. We shall see. All right. I hope you have a good rest of your evening. Thanks for joining me and being patient with me being late tonight. I hope it was worth the wait. I hope you will try this idea. I would love to see what you guys come up with. You can do this for any occasion, any designer series paper. All right. Have a good night, everyone. Bye-bye.